<laughs> I mean, did you hear about the guys watching this? Why don't you us? Hello. Okay, so today, guys, I, I just thought I was going to show you how I think about when I shoot a commercial. Um, I did a commercial like two months ago. It's It was for me, by me, with me. Um, you know, kind of how, how you can think when you are directing, producing, editing, starring in a video all by yourself. Because, you know, a bunch of times you might be the only prop you have and you might want to be creative with it. So you got to be creative with it, you know. So a while ago I did a commercial for a podcast, which is my podcast. But the the premise was that, you know, the, the podcast is the uh, Osito, divided opinions. You know, different opinions, really. You know, you can't really get along. Yeah, that. And, you know, the premise is we are talking about things and stuff and other things that... No, no, but things that are applicable to people in, in midlife, you know, between children and adulthood. Somewhere somewhere in that gray zone. So I thought it would be funny if I did, like, a, a short commercial for the podcast with... The premise that we have divided opinions we don't have the same opinion we can't agree let's just stick with that we, we can agree and i only had myself it was one afternoon so i thought well hey yeah shit okay i can shoot it with myself i i can do like a interview kind of style and maybe to make it feel more authentic i could clone myself i could you know, there's a bunch of things you could do to make a commercial look good. Uh, I, I, I can roll a commercial like right here. Uh, it's in Swedish, of course. Sorry. Um, but you, you kind of get the idea. The premise is that I, I just say, no, I'm the best. Well, I'm the best. No, I'm the best, of course. Yo, I'm best. Yo, I'm best. Yo, I'm best. Sorry. Yo, I'm best. Wait, wait, wait. We're together. Yeah, we're together. What the fuck should I say? Everyone else is together. But then we have the other side. And you know, there's a bunch of ways to make it feel more authentic, more realistic, like you're not just shooting yourself. Um, for once, you gotta have smart camera placement. I, I, okay, so if I'm standing like here, talking back there, th there's typically another person standing here, facing that way. And you know, it's, it's logical, kind of self-explanatory. If, if I'm sitting like this, there would probably be a guy or girl over there that I'm talking to. So what I did was I shot it on a prime lens, 50 mil with f 1.8, just to get that shallow depth of field. I had elements behind me, I had elements in front of me, and I talked in this direction. Not one direction, but this direction. And then I had another me sitting like here, talking that way. And then just to kind of tie it all together, I made a wide shot with a 15 and I had a wide shot where I could sit and myself could sit and you know masking uh, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it it's it's really simple and one thing I did to sell the effect was to overlay audio so when I talked the other guy would talk in front of me you can see how that works yeah no but that really helps to sell the effect that I'm actually talking to someone and that it's not just two clips of me and one thing I did you can see it like here I had myself with my cap on and I just sat in front of the camera out of focus of course and just acting like like the the talker not not the talker the talk to the other person that that's, you can see here it's it's me talking and my cap represents the other me shit this is hard and one thing I noticed I did this commercial for Instagram primarily so it's it's kind of a you know it's it's fast it's you gotta grab the attention right away YouTube and television and other things, podcasts, you can listen to Divided Opinions on Spotify, it's on Swedish. Um, but that, that that longer format is calmer, slower, you don't have to stress, you don't, you don't have to provoke people, get them in. Ah oh shit, this is bad. But since it's an Instagram ad, it's fa fast cuts, fast talking, so it's, I'm the best, no, I'm the best, no, I'm the best, fuck off, I'm the best, you know, it's... Quick conversation, quick cuts, um, and also I added, I can show you here, I added a preset that I have that is fake handheld motion, you can see it like here, if you, yeah. And it what, what it does, it's, it's, it moves the camera like slightly, slightly, just, just a tad, just. And it makes you feel like, like, like someone's actually filming it, like it's not a tripod, I, I can add it here, like, and 
it, it should shake. It should make you feel more authentic, more handheld, more more less edited, less edited. And you know, then I just combine the two scenes. We have the handheld, handheld, close-up shot and the handheld wide shot, which is with a clone. And I can show you that it's really simple. You just take crop, da 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 lines, and pew, you might have to like color correct, color match the clips, but if you're smart, you're shooting it at the same time. So, you know, the, the lighting is the same. Lighting is one key difference. Um, shoot the same time or have a control lighting like a light dome or something. Don't don't use daylight if you're masking out yourself. It doesn't work good, typically. I've learned the hard way. Shit. And then just combine these two shots, make it feel more authentic. And, and it really, it, it's the suspension of disbelief, you know? You, you know it's me. You know it's me talking to me. There's there's not two of me, but you kind of you can accept it. Okay, he he is talking to another he. Does that make sense? And then I have the wide shot with two me, kind of so you're just you know drifting more into this suspension of disbelief. You're kind of just accepting. Okay, there is two characters, one this, one that, and they're talking to each other. Um, and then you know. Point to the camera, scene and Dan Finito, post, Instagram, big podcast, yes. No, so what I like to think about with a commercial like this, you gotta have pace, you know, like in music, you can clap, and it, it all kind of fits together, you know, it's this annoying. The same goes with a commercial, it, it was supposed to be a fast commercial, 20 seconds maybe, 30, I don't know, 20, 30, and fast pacing. I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best, no, I'm the best. Wide shot, you're dumb, no, you're dumb. Okay, shut the fuck up. You, you gotta watch the podcast, yeah, uh, ita eh, italiano, no, okay. And you know, that's kind of the whole commercial, actually, yeah. Um, what I did here was I overlapped, like I said, overlap clips, you can see here. Uh, so one clip starts above the other, kind of to tie it all together, sell the effect that I'm talking to myself. So I would suggest if you're making a commercial with yourself, by yourself, for yourself, only using yourself mentally it's it's preferable to use the variety of lenses variety of light settings apertures you know close up you, you get more blur maybe hello yes more blur you feel more authentic yeah hello I'm talking to myself you can't really see who I'm talking to so it's kind of you know if I you know you can't really see who I'm talking to but you believe it because Obviously someone must be there. And if I had a shot like this, maybe it's less believable. I, I don't know. So I, I, I like to combine close-ups with wider shots and I like to clone myself, you know. One is enough. <laughs> one is enough, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, that's the whole thing, right? Yeah. Quick commercial, bam, bam, bam. Take it to the next level with yourself, by yourself, for yourself. That, sh that should be a slogan actually. Yeah. For me, by me. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of my tips for making a commercial you know, if you only have an afternoon, what, what are you gonna expect? Like, pfft, Hollywood? No, shit. Damn. You gotta make what you can with what you can. You gotta be creative, you know, st stay creative. That must be a slogan. So just let your imagination be the, the limit, I guess, you know. Um, film what you can. Do it, do what you can, you know. Close up, wides, cloning, handheld, sealed effect, light effects, sound effects, more effects. I don't know. So yeah, that's kind of my advice. You, you can do what you want with it. I, I can't force you to do anything, but I think it's kind of funny. I, I, I should say that. I think it's really fucking funny to have myself talking to myself, arguing with who's the best. It might be a bit narcissistic, egotistic, self-loving, maybe, I don't know. But you know, I, I think it's funny. I, I think you kind of, hook the viewer like like right away you know it's it's me talking to me you gotta stop scrolling right uh, oh uh, what is this hey oh it's a guy talking to himself yeah oh we gotta watch it yeah so you know just use yourself be creative try to create something with yourself i mean you, you don't have a team all the time i i usually shoot with one other guy more lights more time oh time is essential but you know you do what you can and i think it's kind of fun it's not supposed to be a like really serious project. It's supposed to be a fun project, fun commercial, hook the viewer, get to my podcast. And I think that's it, yeah. I hope you learned nothing. You probably didn't write that in. No, <laughs> because the viewer is a dumb man.
Oh, don't forget to subscribe. It's down below. Yeah, sure.